But hey guys, so I figured I'd get into a little bit of nerd details about variables. When you're declaring variables, declaring variables means you're just creating variables. I figured I'd go into some detail about what's actually going on behind the scenes when you create a variable with Python. So let's uh, jump into that right now. All right, so this is going to be an unusual video indeed, unusual video. Yeah. So let's, let's talk about variables. So I got some pens. I'm doing this because it's just different, you know, can't always do the same thing. So let's talk about, I'm going to talk about variables. Can you see that? Variables. So let's draw something here. This is RAM, as in RAM, random access memory. So random access memory is the RAM that is included in every computer. You know, you buy a computer, it has eight gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of RAM. All your apps and all programming languages, when they run, they're constantly using RAM. RAM is very, very important. That's why if you have more RAM and faster RAM, your computer will run faster. So you have to imagine that the RAM is made up of tiny little, little cubicles in here. So let's just draw that. Okay, now you know why I became a software developer and not an artist. So just imagine these are all little cubicles, kind of like um, kind of like an ice cream tray. This is an ice cream, kind of like an ice cube tray. So imagine this is RAM. This is this is RAM, and each of these slots is a spot in memory. RAM is random access memory so it's memory each of these spots is kind of like well, it's kind of like a spot in an ice cream in an ice cube tray where in each spot you can put information in each spot sometimes the information can be text sometimes the information can be numbers sometimes the information can be floats and there are many other data types we've learned about data types right so that's RAM. Now, when you create a variable, for instance, so we got a couple of variables here. We got name, and we know, because we're nerds now, we know that name equals Stefan. You know that Steph is string. It's data type, or it's data of the type string. There we go. Price, another variable. And you know that it is of the data type float because it's a number with a decimal in there. It's a floating point number. So what's going on? When when you create a variable, what's actually going on behind the scenes is that Python is storing this information into a spot in RAM. So Stefan is being stored into this spot right here. And 26.50 is being stored into this spot right here. Now we don't know what spot in our RAM Python is storing information. And we don't have to know, we don't have to care. You see, with older programming languages like C and C++, you would have to explicitly, that means you would have to deliberately, you would have to specify what spot this information was held in. It can get very complicated. There's a lot more to it than that because each spot has a coordinate index. It has an index, rather. It has an address. Well, actually, they call it an address. So if it was like a spreadsheet, you can go A, B, C, one, two, three. So the address of this memory space there would be 2C, right? Number 2C. So it would be 2C. Now, in the old days, coders would have to remember, okay, I put name 
the name variable inside of 2C. And you have to track all that, what a pain. With modern languages like Python, JavaScript, Java, C Sharp, and many others, Swift, you don't have to do that. You create your variable, and the programming language will just stick the information in a slot in RAM for you. Now, you have to name your variables, you have to give them names, because that is like a label, it's like putting a sticker on the variable. That's how, it's like putting a sticker rather on the piece of information. That's how Python tracks this information. You say, give it the variable a name, so this time, and this time I called it name, and it just knows that this information, it happens to be Steph, is in this slot here, but we refer to it via this label, the name of the variable. Same thing with price. Price is like a sticker. It's like the name price. It's a variable name, price. It's like a sticker, but you stick on something, and that's how we reference the information that Python sticks in RAM. And that's what basically, and it's basic, that's what basically what Python is doing behind the scenes when it's creating a variable.